All right, thank you, Chris. New at 10, several homeowners in Decatur are getting help removing debris left by April storm. It's great they came out here to help us. You know, it just it shows that, you know, in hard times, you can have somebody to lean on and fall on. Way 31's Brittany Collins spent the day in Decatur following Team Rubicon as they cleaned up the storm damage. This house beside me had a huge tree laying out in front of their yard. People who live out here tell me that it's the city's job to pick up debris and tree limbs off of the road, but for homeowners, it's their job to pick up debris from around their house. It's been five months since the big storm in Decatur, and some homes are still a mess. For like two weeks, that tree across the street was, it was uh, down, and we, it was hard trying to get it up, you know. Kimonsi and his family said they didn't have the equipment to remove the trees from their yard. So when they got the phone call that Team Rubicon would help move them, they were happy. It made us feel great. It made us feel like, you know, there's still good people in the community. It's still, God still exists in the community. We have a, usually sometimes a third person who we call a swamper. And what they do is they remove the debris. The Decatur Morgan County Emergency Management Agency gave Team Rubicon a list of over 12 damaged homes and need trees picked up. You want to cut it, Marie? Yeah, I'll okay. cut. Okay, we'll let cut. Marie Sanders told me crew yeah, members are trained volunteers who are mostly retired veterans and first responders. This saves homeowners lots of money. Usually, you know, something like this would be a couple thousand dollars, especially like the larger the tree. C and his family like keeping up with their yard, so now that the tree is gone, they can have their view back. Some, some of the big, pretty trees are gone, but it's not going to be as much of an eyesore anymore, you know. Team Rubicon gets donations from several organizations. They'll be back out here working on more homes tomorrow morning. Reporting in Decatur, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News.